Trade fam. Thank you guys for tuning into our channel. Thank you for all the support, the like, the comments, the subscriptions. And I'm Shy. Hi, you guys. I'm Ro. And welcome to Trait Life. Well, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's Trait Love slash Trait Life. But it's all the same thing because it's really our life. And uh, we're going to be doing our annual routine, weekly routine, uh, trait change. As we promised you guys tonight, we're going to try to give you guys the best and doing the close-up of the actual trait going in and out of the hole. If we're able to, because as you guys see, he's such a busy body right now. So, we're going to just give it our best and give you the best viewing of the trait that we can give you. Okay, now first I think mom's going to do whatever she do, so I'll let her take the floor. I am going to clean around this G2 area and change this G2 pad. If I can find it. So, like I told you last time, you guys, I just clean it with the Q-tip. One with soap and water and one with just regular water. I don't want to fight. Okay, now some of you guys, let me explain, like, some of you guys that watch all our videos, we thank you. Some of you guys that watch one of your vi our videos, we thank you for even just clicking on it and getting back off of me. We appreciate it, but it might seem like sometimes you watch our video, we're just repeating ourselves over and over and over. But you guys got to understand, like, we're so grateful for all the subscriptions we got, but we're getting new subscribers every day, at least one or two, so... If we ever do talk about a trait change or anything like that, we have to explain step by step because we do have new subscribers and they might have not gone back and watched every other video. So we got to let them know what's going on while they tuned in. And hopefully they'll like the educational content that we're providing and keep watching and subscribe and check out the busy guy. You guys will never believe he got all this stuff on him because he don't think he got it on him. He forgets he got on. Look at him. Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna show you something right quick while she's doing the shirt change. And she's doing all of that. This is not nothing real serious. I'm just uh show you guys that I hear a little bit of water. So I'm gonna show you how we get rid of the water. We have a basin by the bed for the water. So you notice that we told you sometimes it doesn't be cold that goes up and it be water. And you see why the water goes up because you see he's very active. So the more he moves, the more his hoses and tubes move. And sometimes he makes the water go up to him. So it's not the machine, it's him. It's always him being active. Like he's good, he's just mad, he's good, he want to sit up. So y'all don't got to think nothing's going on because he's doing all the kicking and he just want to sit up. Watch when she sit him up. Watch how calm he get. She got, she got these boys spoiled you rotten. Yeah, y'all heard him talk. See, I told her he could make noise. Y'all heard her say, yeah, yeah, mommy, you got me spoiled. You want to eat, eat? You ready to eat, eat? You ready to eat, eat, caca? This is his feeding, too. I'm just going to put it in so it'll already be in. So when we get finished, he get his meds and he can eat. Okay. He just coughed up some cold. He got that up himself. Let me see. He got it up. Yeah. You got it up. Good job, Kaka. Good job, Kaka. Yay, Kaka. Good job. Good job. Good job, Kaka. Good job. Tell him, man, before y'all know it. I'm going to have all these wires on for one little fool in here. Don't sh Man, don't cut up, because, boy, this one of them nights. Don't cut up tonight. Don't get her tonight. Don't get her tonight. Let me see, dude. Right. Mm -hmm. Bullets? You need the bullets? I'm just about to suction up being able to just cough up this cold. Suction it out this little too. Going 
excuse the jumping of the camera. We're having some difficulties. As you want to stay still, I gotta find your blood first. You about to cut off. Is that the clip? Lift it up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm move because I don't see it. I'm gonna let you find it, mama. Because you know where you put it at. Keep trying to mess with this camera. I'm trying to get this camera to stay, stay good for y'all. And we're gonna give y'all a decent video. Okay. I'll adjust it a little bit. I do now. No, I did the feed okay. too, but so, I. You know, I put the new piece so, on them? Yeah. Okay. That's going off because look, it has no pulse socks on. So once you put that on, then we'll know what his numbers are looking like, his oxygen levels, and his heart rate. I know you guys see the tape. Hey, <laughs> I mean, let me tell you, you see him laughing, because he know he do that, he bad. And they don't send us that many of uh, those things a month, so <laughs> you got to make them work, because he need that on, so we can keep a track of everything. Okay, you guys, you know they call me Mr. Trake and Ty. Mr. Trake and Ty, what they call me? Nah, but for real though, okay. Yeah, if you guys remember the last Trake Change video, uh, we used the, the two, 242 Trake Ties, which are the slimmer, skinny ones, which are normally used on infants. Okay. But tonight... Some water. Some water. Suction, okay. So you guys get to see, she sucks it with the water now. Caca. Oh, your breast ain't caca. You don't find that funny. You don't want to laugh at me right now. Alright, but like I was saying. Tonight, we're going to use 241s. These are actually the ones that we were trained with and we learned how to use when we was taking the classes to get home. These are thicker. Being that he likes to scratch on his neck and try to get into the actual trach hole. We've been trying these out. Or we tried this out uh, last night or the night before last. I can't remember, but it, it actually working a little better now being that he's getting older. So... We're gonna use this again tonight. And we're gonna put some uh Mepilex. I think I said it wrong because I always say it wrong, but she'll show you what that is and tell you how to say it better because I always mess that up. Oh man, y'all see, do y'all see what we see? Where are you going? Show the people how you sit. You wanna show them something? Let's show them something. Show him cock cock stand up. Show him cock cock stand up. Show him you can stand up. Yeah, show him you can stand up. There you go, cock cock. Come on, man. Okay. Okay. I ain't gonna show all your secrets off. Yay! Alright. Yeah, I know they call me Mr. Potter in here. She always said I overdo it with the Potter. Uh -huh. As y'all seen the last couple of videos when we did the trait change and the tie change on the trait, man, let me tell you something. Better ask her about me and this powder. I'm going to make sure his neck smells good. And if they say the powder helps from getting sores, guess what? He definitely ain't getting none because his dad, dad put enough powder on that thing. Y'all probably can't see me putting the powder on it, but I'm going to say, like, don't you see that powder. Stop playing. We're going to do the potter challenge. And if she says something wrong, I'm ready to hit her with the potter in her face. Yes, I am. What you got to say? Are you going to say it because we're recording the video? All that potter for no reason. Good thing you got that towel down there. Yeah. The hey, now, y'all probably water. think I was just pouring the potter on the bed because it's in my hand. I was really just pouring the potter like, well, we got something down there. Okay, now... <coughs> I'm about to put the scraps mm -hmm. into the tray. It's the same way as doing the little ones. The slimmer ones. No, no. Nope. 
Like the last time, she likes the shorter side to her side, so that's what I do. Put it to her side. Yeah, I don't see my face or nothing like that this time. It's okay. We want you guys to learn about the trait. It's cool to learn about us, and you know, but we really want you guys to learn about the trait. And how if there's any females out there in the world, and I'ma say this, and this is coming from a man, this point of view, if there's any females out there in the world that's ever had a miscarriage or lost a baby, or lost a couple of babies and been through that situation, don't ever feel like you'll never have kids or you won't ever have kids because we're the prime example of just that. And when we have a story time, we'll tell you all about it. Okay, hold this. Let me get the arm um, gel. Right here. Okay. Now look for this medicine. Okay. I mean, this is my gel. That one right there is already open. But the syringe is in. Oh. Open. You know I can't see. I ain't ashamed. I can't see. Oh, y'all still see the cap. Hey, come on, man. Do your job, man. If y'all want to see this hard top, drop top. I'm gonna pull that thing out the parking lot for y'all. Let y'all see the hard top drop, man. They're gonna be like, boy, I didn't even know you had one of those. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't brag about my hard top drop top. You know, everybody ain't got one. Everybody can't get one of them. Hmm. I'm lucky. Some, some people might think I ain't, but I'm lucky. Okay, um. We're going to get a medicine first. So, if we do it, are you going to do this first? Let's do this first and then make the medicine last. Okay, you guys. So, we're about to do the actual trait change. So, give us about four seconds. Maybe not that long. 